All right, guys, so this is another overdue video, but this is how I sugar my legs at home. So the first thing that you always wanna do is start off with clean skin. So I've already used witch hazel and I'm now applying a powder. I'm using cornstarch because that is the main ingredient in baby powder. So you can just use that or you can use any of the substitutes in the description box. As you guys can see, you don't need a ton of powder. You really wanna work it into the skin to get rid of any excess because if you have too much, this will keep your sugar from sticking. But if you have too little, then you can still have moisture or oil on the skin. So the point of this is to absorb any sweat, any water, and wick away any of the natural oils or sebum. Then we're ready to apply our sugar. Here, again, I am using strip sugar, and this time I actually have warmed it slightly. What I've been doing is I've been dipping my spatula into the jar like so, and then I just kind of twist back and forth like this, which keeps all of the sugar on one side of the spatula. The other side should stay clean. And because this is warm and runny, as you guys can see, if I don't keep the spatula moving, then it's just going to actually drip off. So I keep turning it to not only keep from making a mess, but also to cool the sugar off. And this is a very small amount, so I've only warmed it for about five to 10 seconds in the microwave. But most importantly, I've also waited about 10 minutes before even attempting to touch my skin with this. Remember, never apply sugar straight from the heat source to your skin. Sugar reaches high temperatures quickly, so it can be extremely hot and you don't wanna burn yourself. I'm going to apply on a diagonal. Remember, you always apply your sugar in the opposite direction of growth. I then apply my muslin cloth. I smooth it over in the same direction that I applied the sugar. And then wherever the top of my tab is, that's where I'm gonna put my free hand to hold the skin taut. Then, and only then, will I actually grab my tab and pull it off because the skin must be tight before you rip. If it is not, you will bruise your skin. And because I've applied that sugar so thin, I can now use that same strip to now go over my next section. Again, smoothing in the direction that I applied the sugar, holding the skin taut. Comfortably grab that tab as close as I can and removing it perpendicular to the skin. And for those of you who asked me about whether sugaring has the ability to like lighten dark areas, as you can see, there's an obvious color change on my leg. <laughs> this is because sugar not only removes your hair, but it is excellent, I repeat, excellent at exfoliating. And if you guys have seen any of my previous videos, especially in regard to pre and post care, you know that you should be exfoliating between one to three days prior to your service, just because it's gonna help ensure that all of your hair is actually free and available for the sugar to grab onto. If any of your hair is stuck under dead skin cells, then obviously it won't be pulled out. And you'll notice that I go over the sugar multiple times. I'm swiping about two to three, maybe even four times because I am molding the sugar into the hair. I'm really pressing it into the skin and I'm also making sure that my application is what? Paper thin. I have some excess left on my spatula and this is from holding it at a 45 degree angle so that actually the bottom blade that is closest to my skin is doing all of the work. Another thing to look out for is that your hair pattern can change. So with that fluctuation of like directions, it can sometimes make it difficult to catch every single hair. Please know that if you don't catch every single hair in one pass, that is totally normal. So to help me get a lot of the bulk, what I actually do is after applying my strip is I will tug on it slightly. What this does is really helps to over direct the hair even more. So in case any of the hair fell during the molding process, it puts it back in line. And as you guys may have noticed, I've used this strip quite a few times. However, at some point, you're gonna have to switch to a fresh one, and this is why. When your sugar builds up too much, it becomes much more difficult to impossible to actually remove the strip. And this is why sometimes you get stuck, because your sugar is just too thick. And this was honestly kind of a bad example because I was still able to pull it off, but you guys can see that I miss spots, and that is the reason why, because I've got too many layers on that strip. So in this instance, you can just fold it in half and continue to use your clean side. So now that the side is done, I'm gonna to move to the back of my leg. And for that, I just cross my ankle over my knee. And usually I'm sitting in a chair when I do this, but you know, you guys still get the point, right? And again, I'm going to apply the sugar on a diagonal. In fact, it's very common for your hair to form around the curves of your body.
And remember, we always want to keep the skin as taut as possible. So top tip is to flex your foot so that you not only make a muscle, but you also put more tension on your skin. And again, don't forget to hold your skin tight, as tight as possible. So as you guys can see, sugar's getting kind of thick, but I'm still using it because I'm, I'm trying to get that quintessential pull that is going to be the prime example of what yours might look like. And this was a lot more accurate. See how I got stuck? That is how you know that you need a fresh strip. And it doesn't feel uncomfortable or anything. It doesn't like hurt, but if you do want to avoid it, then just change your strip maybe like every third or fourth application. And I usually save this to the end, but if while you're in the process, you notice some little hairs that you've missed, then you can touch up as you go. So what I like to do is still keep my folded strips handy. This is the perfect opportunity to use them since they're small. So now we've done the side and the back, and now we're moving to the front or the shin. And this is where I actually apply my sugar going straight up and down, at least for the majority of the leg, because it does start to curve like kind of near the knee. And you guys have probably noticed that my hair is quite fine. So this is one of the reasons why I am using the strip sugar. And I know I'm so behind, but I will be making a video on how to know what sugar that you should use when. So it is coming, I just don't know when. So make sure that if you're not already, that you subscribe to this channel and you won't miss it. And for some reason, I'm not sure if I just didn't feel me doing my knee, but just so you guys know, how I do that is I put my foot flat on the floor so that my knee is kind of, you know, projected a little bit more. And I apply the sugar going inward on both sides. So I apply it on a diagonal meeting in the middle. And then for the fourth and final side, I'm going to again apply my sugar on a diagonal just like I did on the inside of the leg. Then when I'm done, I will again use some witch hazel or feel free to just use water. You can even use rose water or fresh aloe. 
then I will apply a oil to help keep the skin hydrated, holding in that moisture from our water or toner and this also replenishes the oil that we have stripped from our skin and i don't know if you guys can tell here but i am susceptible to getting these little red bumps only when i wax my legs probably because i have the kp and therefore am more sensitive to trauma so i am applying um tamanu oil because it is rich in vitamin e and it's therefore going to help the skin recover a little bit faster and that is it because i don't wax my upper legs i don't do my thighs if you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up again don't forget to subscribe for more sugaring videos and i'll see you in the next one bye